Hello all and welcome to the world of Android XU4. This tiny device has an 8 core Samsung Exynos 5422 ARM CPU and more specific 1A15 quad core at 2 GHz and 1A7 quad core at 1.4 GHz. The RAM is at 2 GB and the GPU is the Mali T628 MP6. Here we can see the serial terminal port and the RTC backup battery connector. This is the EMMC module socket. And here are the 30 pin GPIO, the power button, and the two USB 3 ports. And here are the Gigabit Ethernet, the USB 2 port, the power jack, the micro SD slot, and the HDMI connector. In this side, we can see the EMMC slash microSD boot switch and the 12 pin GPIO. Now it's time to download the Kali Linux ARM image for Android XU4 from Offensive Security website. In this page, we can see all the supported ARM devices. Now let's scroll down to find the proper image for XU4. As we can see here, the image for XU3 and XU4 is the same. Here are the instructions for the Linux users. Please read these instructions carefully. As for the Windows users, they must download 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the image and Win32 Disk Imager for writing the image to the micro SD card. Now let's extract the XZ file. After that, open Win32 Disk Imager and select the path of the image file. After that, let's select the proper drive and press right, but let's make sure that we selected the microSD drive. Ok, let's press yes. Before we remove the drive, let's make an entry to boot.ini file. Find this command and append the rw writes before the code symbol. Save and exit and remove the microSD card. Now let's connect the devices and power up the XU4. Don't forget to set the boot switch to MicroSD position. Type root and tour for password. Let's see if we have internet. Ok, the Ethernet seems to work in great.
As we can see under applications, the system has a very basic stuff. The desktop environment is XFCE. Now, let's see how we can install the pentest tools of Kali with the help of meta packages. Here are all the tools categorized with explanation and installation size. Let's see the kernel version. Okay. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the SSD installation. Bye.